Where today we have some very special guests. We are celebrating today because our school, that means all of us, raised $1,300. You could feel the excitement in the air. Accomplishment, relief, rewarding. These were feelings of students, faculty, and staff of the Julius Marx Elementary Student Technology Leadership Program, also known as STLP. They are ready ready to present the results of their hard work and determination over the last few months. It happens more than we think. K-9 officers injured in the line of duty. Like K-9 officer Nikki of the Las Vegas Police Department, like K-9 Officer Thor of the Weathersfield, Connecticut Police Department, like K-9 Officer Ty of the Omaha, Nebraska Police Department, and the many other over 135 K-9 officers injured in the line of duty in 2016, with most of them not wearing a protective vest. Every year after we're finished with one set of showcases, we go ahead and start getting ready for the next year's showcases. We love animals and uh, most of the kids have pets here uh, on, that are in STLP, so we started thinking about what we wanted to do for next year. In the past, we've done one showcase was to raise money for a seeing eye dog. We bought, a, the school bought a puppy, so a seeing eye dog could be trained, and then we supported um, a rescue operation, uh, I think three years ago. So this year, we wanted to do something a little different. So we heard a story about a police dog that was hurt really badly because it didn't have a, a protective vest. And the dog wasn't in Kentucky. I don't remember where it was. It was out west somewhere. But uh, we talked about it as a group, and we decided that we wanted to buy a police, vet, a police dog vest, a bulletproof vest for a police dog here in Lexington. So the students, I sort of let them choose who wants to be on what showcase. So the three that are on the showcase now, Noah, Zoe, and Chloe, they definitely wanted to be on the showcase since it involved dogs. And from there, when school started, we did a lot of research they did a lot of research and found out all kinds of information about the police departments. And so it was. Because of this community's love for animals and a heart to protect those who protect us, the students and staff and faculty of Julius Marks Elementary STLP responded with a call to action, a call to bring community awareness, but also to support and make a difference for the brave canine officers who put their lives on the line for us. When we heard about the Police, off, police dog that got hurt because they didn't have a bulletproof vest, that we should raise money to help with that because even though it wasn't in Lexington, it still impacts the whole police. So we thought that we would help to buy Kevlar vests. That way the, no more dogs should get hurt. Two out of three of the people in this showcase um, have an uncle that is a detective and all three people are dog lovers and all three people have a dog. When the students come up with something that they want to do, a project, that's what STLP is all about. Those projects are student-led. So when they decide that they want to do this as a project and take it on, uh, I totally supported them. The school, the parents, teachers, staff, everybody has totally supported them. We had a letter from the principal because since we were going to be selling things, we had to make sure that we had approval for that. And STLP is all about projects, and, and community service is one of the categories. So after brainstorming, collaboration, and remembering those officers injured in the line of duty because there was no protective vest, the dog owners in the Julius Marks Elementary STLP decided on K-9 Kevlar as a community service project. In it would be a fundraiser to help at least one K-9 officer of the Lexington Police Department wear a protective vest while serving our community. So we work with our, SC, with our school's SDLP, um, and we came up with a project called K-9 Kevlar, and we raised money by selling dog-related items and other types of items to buy a ballistic vest for a police dog. We chose the name K-9 Kevlar for our showcase because Kevlar is a We knew about Kevlar, but we didn't know that it was called ballistic. And also, we think that Kevlar is easier to remember and it like kind of goes together where they both start with 
where Tavalar and Canine both start with a K, it could kind of go together. So for community service, we thought this would be excellent to support the police officers in our community because we respect them and we're glad that they keep us all safe. Back in September, the K-9 Kevlar project planning started. It was nothing but a desire to support K-9 officers with the purchase of a ballistic vest. There was no idea of how to get it, and there was definitely no funding for it. A lot of students were working on the research. We found Kevlar vests anywhere from $800 to $1,500. And basically, our fundraiser was going to run between Thanksgiving and winter break. So how much ever money we raised at that time was what we were going to donate. Some of the things that we sold were candy canes, um, dog bones, different um, cups, uh, stuffed animals that got donated from teachers. Um, we sold a dog kennel, and all that stuff was um, $3 or less. There were also some Julius Marks Elementary teachers and staff who supported these efforts by donating some valuable items collected over the years. I had a um, big um, bunch of Beanie Babies from um, long ago and decided to donate them. Um, and then Miss Kaiser asked my permission to sell them as part of the fundraising um, so that the students could raise money for the canine Kevlar. And I told her that was perfectly fine. I was able to gather some stuffed animals that I had donated in the past, Beanie Babies and such that we could sell for a dollar, three dollars. Mrs. Kaiser had some things, we created a store and before you know it, we had raised $1,300 to help the police department. Stay tuned for a trailer later about the items that we're going to be selling. After months of planning, promoting, fundraising, and hoping, the Julius Marks Elementary STLP raised a total of $1,300. The check was presented to the Lexington Police Department for a ballistic vest to protect canine officers in the line of duty at the school's celebration of success on January 13th, 2017. Welcome to Celebration of Success where today we have some very special guests and their canine partners. Julius Marks is very proud to have eight of Lexington's best police officers here to celebrate with us. You may be wondering how on earth STLP came up with this idea. We came up with the idea of canine Kevlar after we heard about a police dog that got hurt because it didn't have a protective vest. We interviewed people, looked at websites, made phone calls, and wrote emails to gather information. One thing we found out during our research is that a Kevlar vest costs a lot of money, so we knew we had to get to work. Julius Marks is proud to present this check to the Lexington Police Department. One, two, three. We can't say thank you enough. Um, I'm not going to take the time to introduce everybody up here, but the, uh, the guest of honor here, I guess, is K-9 Max, which is over here with his handler, uh, Steve Newton. Both of these guys are new to our unit. They've only been here for about six months. So We're here at Julius Marks to receive a check uh, for a donation of $1,300, which is going to go towards the purchase of a new K-9 Kevlar vest for our, one of our new canines. Um, they took time out of their day to uh, open a school store, sell items that they were able to go and gather up and put forth so much effort into this project. We were able to see the posters that they created, the computer aspect of it that they were able to do. What this means for us as not just an agency, but as uh, the unit more specifically, um, it shows the support from our community, even the youngest members of, uh, of our community with the, uh, the fourth and fifth graders that were involved in this. Um, it really shows a strong support for law enforcement today and, uh, and for our police uh, canines that we have here and our, and our partners, which our partners become members of not just our work family, but our home life as well and members of our family at home. So it really, you can't put into words uh, the support that, that we feel for something like this. The availability to have protection for the dog is absolutely paramount to the dog handler team. Uh, we ask these dogs to go out every night and do a very tough job with the only protection being the actual handler, uh, himself or herself out there helping the dog through these situations. And the least we could do as an agency and as a community is afford the dog the opportunity for a chance for survival if something bad should happen. The effort that these young, per, uh, young people put into this um, is phenomenal. Um, we had a chance to sit down and speak with the, uh, the members of the group that actually did this project and seeing what effort they put in 
um, making us their project for the year. Um, they went above and beyond anything that, uh, that we would have ever dreamed. On behalf of the Lexington Police Department, we want to express our sincerest gratitude to Julius Marks Elementary for their project for us. And uh, when we develop community partnerships like this, it's a partnership for a lifetime for our agency. It's one of those things where we can build upon this and we can continue to have this relationship grow uh, throughout the years to where it's uh, not even a question as to the support we receive from the school and the support we're able to give back to the school for doing so. We so appreciate these children and the look on their faces when we brought the dogs in today, it was incredible. It makes it worth everything to get up every day and put this badge on and go out here and help this community and make it a better place. Seeing the, uh, the look on these young people's faces and the, uh, the look in their eye when we came walking in, especially when we came in with the, uh, with the canines, uh, really reminds us why we put the badge on every day. As you saw down there today at the assembly, just the, the students, everybody was so excited because we had visitors in the building. They got to actually see the police dog that was going to wear the vest. That was cool. And to see the police officers in the building uh, and knowing that they're out there keeping us all safe, that was cool. Um, to see the school come together too, because if you had been here in the mornings to see as kids came in, because every morning we only sold things from 7.15 to 7.45 every morning. And we look like busy little bees over there with dollar bills going every which direction. And for these kids to do what they've done, and you think they're at nine and 10 years old, and we have, we've had other students who've helped. We have students as young as second grade who are in here helping on the project. Because we're a team, it's just like Coach Cal's team. You know, even the people who practice, they're all part of the team. So just because you're not a representative up there talking doesn't mean you didn't help make this happen. All of STLP, this whole school made this happen. And community service it was the Julius Marks Elementary K-9 Kevlar Project. It began as just a thought of how they could show their love for animals and how they could help support K-9 officers in the line of duty. But today, at least one K-9 officer will be protected while serving our community. The Julius Marks Elementary STLP students wanted to show they have a vested interest in the safety of the Lexington Police Department's K-9 officers. I think that it was worth it because we all know that we're saving another police dog's life where we're all dog lovers and we don't like when dogs die. When the canine dogs go out on duty, duty and they're in a dangerous place, um, then they might need protection to keep them safe and then if they're safe then that means we're probably going to be safe. We want the dog to be protected because if the dog gets hurt, injured or dies, it takes a while for them to teach uh, them how to sniff out things and so if a dog already knows it um, but then they die then they'll have to teach another dog and that could take some time. We hope that less police dogs get hurt and we will have a safer community. The Julius Marks Elementary K-9 Kevlar Community Service Project making a difference for the Lexington Police Department's K-9 officers. I'm very, very proud of, of ourselves because we are $1,300 to buy this to best for this day. I'm proud about this community service project because we know that we're saving a mother dog's life and a mother dog can be safe in this world. But our children here at Julius Marks, um, they think about an animal, want to make a difference for an animal, want to protect an animal, but to raise money for the K-9 unit, for the police department that protects our families each and every day is just uh, an outstanding testimony to the types of children that we have here at Julius Marks. This is the best thing I've ever seen in 24 years of teaching. I love all my past projects too. I absolutely positively love this. And now I'm wondering what on earth will we do next year to top it? <laughs> I don't know if we can or not, but I just love it. Welcome to Celebration of Success, where today we have some very special guests and their canine partners. Julius Marks is very proud to have eight of Lexington's best police officers here to celebrate with us. We are celebrating today because our school, that means all of us, raised $1,300 to donate to the Lexington Police Department to buy a canine ballistic vest, which means a bulletproof vest for the police dogs. All of you, all of our students.
students and staff for all of the helping make this project succeed. You may be wondering how on earth STLP came up with this idea. Well, <clears throat> sorry. Here to tell us more about the Canine Kettle Showcase is our Noah Jones, Zoe Miller, and Chloe Miller. We have been in STLP for many years, and we do sh and we do showcases every year. We came up with the idea of canine Kevlar after we heard about a police dog that got hurt because it didn't have a protective vest. It wasn't here in Lexington, but it still made an impact on us. We were all dog lovers, and we wanted to do something to help our police dogs in, our, in Lexington. We did some research and found lots of information about Kevlar vests. We interviewed people, looked at websites, made phone calls, and wrote emails to gather information. Then we made a board showing what we had learned, and we made videos to play on JME TV. We took out a board and the video to, us, to SCLP regionals at Rep Arena back in November, where we competed with schools from many different counties. We scored enough points to advance to state competition on April 12th. One thing we found out during our research is that a Kevlar vest costs a lot of money, so we knew we had to get to work. We made a lot, we made candy grains to sell, and we sold many gift items. As you remember, we sold lots of candy canes between Thanksgiving and winter break. Some students and staff members also donated money and items for us to sell. Thank you for. Thank you to everyone for supporting our project. Would all SCLP please come on the stage? officers and their canine partners. One, two, three. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to tell us about your canines? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dave Sadler. I'm the Sergeant Supervisor of our canine unit here in Lexington. So on behalf of all of my guys here that work with me in the police department, we can't say thank you enough. Um, I'm not going to take the time to introduce everybody up here, but the, uh, the guest of honor here, I guess, is Canine Max, which is over here with his handler, uh, Steve Newton. Both of these guys are new to our unit. They've only been here for about six months. So this donation came at actually an ideal, and it could not have come at a better time. Uh, we would have been looking to purchase a vest for Canine Max regardless. So this money coming in for us to go ahead and be able to do that now is, is absolutely is phenomenal. And these guys down here, I had an opportunity to speak with these guys earlier in the library, and the effort and the time that they have donated to this is absolutely phenomenal. So thank you guys. We appreciate it. Thank everybody that was involved in this. We really, really appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. 